out by making the sleeve, which the camera fits into. And then the sleeve is actually what gets rigged to the kite with uh, bungees and these tabs. The sleeve is made out of this uh, strapping webbing. It's just three of these sewn together and then folded over. And then the edges are sewn up. And this is, uh, I think it's less than two bucks a foot at a fabric store. It's polypropylene webbing. I forget how wide it is. Well, here. It's uh, about an inch, inch wide. And before you fold it over and sew it up, you sew a little of this Velcro in, a strip of this in. You can get that at the fabric store or the hardware store. And then the matching part you sew on the back so you can fold this over and that keeps everything closed up and tight. Keeps the camera from falling out. And also I lined it with this uh, green sticky back felt so you can get that at the hardware store too. So the camera is something nice and smooth to slide into and out of. It doesn't scratch anything. And I also put some sticky back felt on the mics to dampen the wind noise, which is really loud up on the kite. And also on the bottom, there's different inputs in here that get full of snow when you dump it in the snow. So that takes care of that. Now, so you can fold it over then and sew these edges up. And then these little tabs, which the bungees go into, are also the same kind of webbing. I just cut off a little bit lengthwise here, fold them over, and sew them up. And these are all done with just a zigzag stitch. This is wider, and this is narrower, but they're the same tightness, closeness. So four of those on the corners. And then this uh, is the only kind of specialty thing. These are um, rubber bands for braces, uh, orthodontia rubber bands and there's seven of these sewn in on each side of the corners here hand sewn with needle and thread and these absorb some of the shaking of the camera that's caused by the wind kite vibration in the wind so and these are um, bears <laughs> there's zebras and bears and maybe some other ones I don't know but the bears are smaller than the zebras I don't know where, if you go into a dental office, I bet they'd give you a pack of them. There's like 200 in a pack. They're nice because they're just strong. They don't really break and they last forever. They're durable. But if you can't get a hold of them, um, you know, you could probably find something, some gaskety thing, you know, at the hardware store that would work too. So I think that's it for this. Oh, yeah, the hole. So to cut the hole out, you can't really do it quite in the middle because the flip lens is slightly offset to the left. So you slide that in and you can feel where it is. So you kind of just start out making a small hole and then you slide it in and out to get the hole, slowly make it bigger so you can tell where to cut. And then when you get it to where you like it, um, you just run a lighter along the edges to close up the frayed edges. And then this Velcro here is for my wide angle lens conversion rig thing here. And this is just industrial strength uh, heavy duty sticky back Velcro. It comes in a pack like that. It's four bucks at the hardware store. So you cut out a hole for the lens. And the same thing on your conversion ring. Just like that. And that sticks on there just great. It stays on. I've been really happy with that. I didn't think it would work as well as it does. And then that screws on there. And that sticks really well. And uh, I think that's it for the sleeve. Now I'll put the kite together and we'll show you the rigging.